subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications on my future videos. Hey what's up guys welcome back again in this video I'm gonna show you how you can install the latest Android operating system on your smartphone uh, before moving on make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel and also press the bell icons for latest updates of my new videos so let's get started so I will assume that you will have one of the popular devices for example uh, from Motorola, uh, Xiaomi like any of the popular company devices and uh, the uh, latest Android update uh, is Oreo um, and in this video I am going to tell you how you can get Android Oreo so in my case I am using Motorola Moto G 2015 version Moto G3 uh, for this you need to go to a website called uh, xtadeveloper.com and here you need to type your device name and model for example in my case it is Moto G let me search for Moto G here you can see the variant options Moto G 2014, 15, 14 LT like that. Let's search for Moto G that's it. And here you will get lots of options. See here there is option called Moto G 2015. Click on that and you will get the, this screen. Here there are lots of things like Moto G 2015, uh, general Q&A, accessories. Android development, original Android development and theme and apps. The one more thing is you should have a root permission. You should already uh, you should have already rooted your device. I will assume like that. And if you have not rooted your device, click click the I button in the screen. And I have already made a video how to root your device and see that and root your cell phone and also install custom recovery like. TWRP or CWM. Here you can see an Android um, 8.1.0 pixel experience, and here there is an option called ROM 8.1.0 official EOSP extended ROM 5.3 version. Uh, it is released on 11th March. Click on that. Here you can see the complete description of the ROM and uh, our chain log and all. Here is the download section. Go ahead and press this uh, Osprey. So my device name is called Osprey. And also download the G apps. Here you can see download.aospxnet.com slash Osprey. These are the ROMs available. So this is the latest version, official ROM. Click on that and you will download this ROM and also download G apps. So in, in in my case it is as it is a 8.1 version ROM so I, I need Android 8.1 and I'm using you can use any of these variants super stock and you can see the description of that and download which you are required anyone you can download so first download this AOSP extended ROM and then download the G apps and let's get started to flash the ROM so after downloading the ROM and the G apps, connect USB cable to your cell phone. Also enable USB debugging in the setting, developer option and also enable OEM unlock and make sure you have at least 50% charge before doing this. You also need to install minimal ADB fastboot. I will give the link for the websites and minimal ADB fastboot and all. Uh, search for ADB so select minimal ADB fast food and here ADB devices and see my device if you have uh, enable developer option then you can see the device here. here just type ADB reboot recovery this will uh, allow your device to go to the recovery mode let's see in the recovery menu go to the backup section and if you want to avoid any of your data data loss 
uh, create all the backups here click on select storage and select SD card swipe to create backup so I have already created the backup so I am skipping this option and then go to wipe and here press on uh, format data press yes and it will remove all of your data ROM and system files everything and go to back and select advanced option and here remove Dalvik cache system data internal storage cache and don't select micro SD card and OTG anything because it will also remove the contents of the micro SD card so only select this option and swipe right to remove all this data this will take a couple of seconds and then swipe to factory reset so everything is removed so no need left so as you can see in the backup section you can see only 0 MB uh, data is 0 MB system is 3 MB that is no nothing is there so now you have to copy your downloaded ROM to your internal storage let me do that one more thing you can still access your uh, device to transfer data as connected in the recovery mode so I am copying the files even you can do that so that's it go to install so it's an external SD it's showing I need select storage select internal storage and as you can see here there is a AOSP extended from uh, the zip file which we have downloaded click on that and if you uh, remove this zip verification signature verification can allow that as it is official there is not, uh, it will not give any error swipe to confirm flashing once it is flashed you will see now it's done go back and select G app flash the G apps also it will also take couple of minutes as you can see now it is completing uh, completed so click on reboot system it will start reboot your android device it will take up to 10 minutes as it is a first boot as you can see now it is booted so let me do the setup so once it is done you can see um, the android audio let me go to the setting in system and about phone here you can see the android version 8.1.0 and it's a usb extended rom double tap on that you can see the audio audio game and also octopus so that's it for now guys thank you for watching also like share and subscribe to my youtube channel i will see you in the next video thank you